Welcome back. So in this video, we're going to talk about the marketing plan. So everything that you do with the marketing plan, again, think about your audience. It's banks and venture capitalists, and you need to translate your big ideas into some numbers that they can understand. So in your overall uh, marketing strategy, which you need to articulate very clearly in the marketing plan, you need to explain things like how do you promote the product, right? Um, how do you get the word out? Are you doing it through social media? Are you doing it through door, um, you know, door-to-door -door advertisements? You know, someone going and explaining or, or that kind of thing. Are you using platforms like the Kauffman Foundation's One Million Cups program? You know, going to universities and, and reaching out. That's almost like a door-to-door -door sales tactic, except you're go usually going from like university to university or chamber to commerce, chamber to commerce. Are you doing it that way? Um, how are you letting people know about the product? And more importantly, how are you educating people about the product? As a new business owner, a lot of what you have to do is convince people that they need that product, right? They may love your product, but since they don't know what it is or they don't understand it, they're not going to buy it. So a lot of what you do in the beginning is educating the customer. I think about Blue Apron, right? You probably have heard of Blue Apron. They have those door-to-door -door meal kits. They did so much advertising on Hulu and local TV because it was a brand new idea. And they wanted to make sure that people understood what it was they were trying to sell. That way they would be enticed or inclined to buy it. So that's something that you need to include. What kind of sales tactics and promotions are you going to do? Right? Are you going to do like a buy one, get one free, or get like the first three months of a service free? Um, how does that work? You need to be able to explain that very clearly. Um, what's, what's the price? Right? How much is it going to cost, this particular product? You know, it's going to cost me $15, um, or pardon me, you know, if you buy this particular product or service, it's going to cost the customer $15. And, you know, as you mentioned, from the economics of the business, maybe it only cost me, you know, $7 to make it, you know, whatever the case is. But you need to explain how much it, um, the product itself or the service costs. You also want to talk about how do you distribute that particular product, right? Are you doing it through, let's say you're a, a beekeeper and you make honey, right? How do you get that honey to the customer? Well, do you do like door-to-door -door sales, knock on people's doors, hey, do you want to buy honey? That's one way to do it. Do you sell through a national grocery chain? Do you sell through a local market, you know, like a, lo a little local supermarket? Or do you go to farmer's markets and sell it yourself? That's stuff that you got to include. And especially how many um, you know, rounds of a, iterations of a process are you going to sell at, um, at that particular distributor? Or how many dollars worth of product are you going to sell at that particular distributor? So explain kind of the breakdown of your distributions. You also need to make sure that you explain very clearly what your sales cycle is. Right? Not every business has a consistent number of sales per month. Okay? Let me give an example. I worked with a guy who used to have a, a printing company. He, he printed books and educational materials and promotional materials, pamphlets, marketing stuff, all that kind of stuff. Right? And so he explained that, you know, basically June he got a little bit of business, but July and August were so busy. Those were the busiest month, months of the year. He got a little business in September, a little business in November, and then a fair amount of business in December. And then the rest of the year, he'd just be sitting in his office praying for a phone call. You know, somebody might call him and say, hey, can you print, you know, 400 flyers for me or something? And he would do that. And the reason was you've got a lot of books that need to be printed for universities for the start of the year and then to a lesser extent for the start of the semester. And so that's where all of his business was. But the rest of the year, he had no business at all. And that's something you need to be able to explain to that venture capitalist or that bank. You know, that some months you may not be able to make, you know, full payments and other months you may, may be able to be, pay more than what's owed because that's the, kind of the nature of that business. Again, thinking of construction, right? There's not a lot of construction activity going on in the winter if you're up north. That's something you need to factor in as well. So these are kind of the basic things that need to go in a marketing plan. As always, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up that's like a like. You can also subscribe and make sure you comment down below. Our next uh, video, we're going to talk about the design and development plan. Hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.